What do you think about this one? That's nice. Yeah. And actually, that this is a long bed. This is a long bed too. Which truck in the comment section? Which one looks better? I think the Chevy looks better than Ram all day. So what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I have one of my friends today. He has an RV. What's up, guys? How we doing? So he has a YouTube channel. Pause this video. Go check him out and follow him and subscribe. And make sure you say what's up. All right. Yeah, we got a 42 foot trailer. It's a Forest River, uh, Salem Hemisphere Light. Uh, we've been full timing now for about five months, kind of doing some renovations on it. Our YouTube channel is uh, The Fantastic Five. Definitely go check that out. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for a truck now. So uh, we're here to kind of start that experience. Cool. What's your uh, Instagram? Uh, the Fantastic Five as well. Yep. yep. But yeah, like I said, guys, give them a follow. So we have keys to a 2020 Ram now. We we're probably going to have them order one because this truck does have the cp4 although if you get this truck it has cp4 you just have to keep it lubricated but this truck is a 3500 we're going to show you guys just really quickly around it show you the payload so let's get into it there it is yeah let's see if you guys can see that there it is so this one has this 8.4 display too. All right guys, so we don't know whether or not I's in transmission or 68 RFP. In the comment section, leave your thoughts. So he's towing probably about 14,000 pounds, you think? Yeah, right about there. And you guys are gonna be on the road full timing. So they're probably gonna be leaving like in April, May time in that ballpark. That's the plan, yeah. So figure if we get your truck order, it should be here around that time. But uh, yeah, we'll pull over here so we can show everybody what you got. Now this does have a long bit. Yeah, you can move on right, okay. right in front of those little renegades. Yeah, so we'll show you guys just really quickly what this truck has. Oh, this one has the air suspension too. Nice. All right, guys, so check it out. So this does have the long bed. It's a crew cab configuration, 3,500. So I think, Tony, you're probably looking more toward like a Bighorn or something in that ballpark. Yeah, something cool. like that. Cool, so like I said, this is a Laramie. So I mean, the only difference is it has leather seats. Okay. And I mean, there's a few other things like wood trim and a few things do come off like these LED headlights but I mean for the most part I mean the Bighorn still gets the job done I mean, you'll have a bigger payload for your trailer there you go nice look at that piece man thing is so loud how about 40 degrees out here so it's a little bit loud right now. I'm gonna put it in high idle for you guys. Let's go ahead and drop it in high idle. And check this out too. Whenever you have the hood open, it shows you the icon right there too. That's pretty cool, I like that. I actually like these wheels better too. But you can't get like a 20 inch wheel, like you get the blackout package, you get the 20 inch wheel. Yeah, the axe mics on the mirrors. What do you think, man? That's nice. It's really nice. I know it's, uh, we've been looking at used trucks. Okay. So to see something new is really cool. I know the man has been thinking more used, but I've really wanted to try to get a new truck. So yeah. it's nice to see one get ready to drive in here soon, but to see it kind of up close is good. Nice. We gotta make these numbers work, right? Say right. Absolutely. Make the numbers Whatever work. Whatever we gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the window sticker. So as I mentioned, this is gonna be a 2020. And just starting with the options just below. So this truck is 77895 Has quite a bit of options on it too. So you see it has that fifth wheel prep package, tow technology group. It has a high output Cummins at $11,995, which is the most expensive one on here. Sunroof, LED bed lighting, automatic level air suspension, and then spray and bed liner. Destination at $16,95. And use that total price. Wow. Now we're gonna take this bad boy for a drive. This does have the air suspension, so the ride might be a little bit smoother compared to one without it. 
And this option is like $16.95. But yeah, you guys can see you can lower the bed right inside here. Riding down the road, man, this truck rides so good with that air suspension. Yeah. You don't need a used truck. We gotta talk to man and get a new one, man. <laughs> Come on in. Put a foot down. And they gotta put the foot down. Lay down the law. Hannah, don't watch this. <laughs> I mean, I love you. Whatever you want. Cool. And so this is the 8.4, like I was saying. And it's pretty, it has a lot of good features on it too. Let's see. Let's go to controls. You have that cargo camera. You have the side cameras too. Oh, wow. And of course, if you, you know, you're not gonna probably use this since you have a fifth wheel, but you have your tongue, you too. And you can, you can. I don't know if I show you. Can zoom into it also. I didn't realize that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean this truck rides so much better than my truck with that air suspension. I haven't really driven with these headlights too. These are a little bit different from mine on the Laramies. Pretty good though. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Nice high beam. I'm gonna click the fog lights on really quickly too, so you guys can see them. Now this is with the fog lights on too, so it puts out a little bit more light on the sides here. Mm -hmm. yeah, these lights are really good. I was say, dude, the lights up. Sheesh. I do like that you can look at the cameras while you're driving too. Yeah. Check on your cargo, check on your hitch. Make sure these. That's 24 7. Yeah. Start now. Yeah. When you go to tow, you might not even fill it back there, maybe with these type of trucks. Is there not any ambient lighting in here? Huh. I actually do like my limp a little bit better because of that. I use the screen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I got it so bright. Yeah, I know they put lights down on the floor too, but yeah. man, there's, there's nothing in here. I like in yours how the little step thing on the side oh, the, comes the, in and the out. Power, yeah. yeah, the power running boards. You can add those out to market too if you want. Yeah, this truck doesn't have any running boards on it. Mm -hmm. I'm short too, so I'm going to have to do the hop down. Yep. <laughs> work, work out those, uh, those calf muscles, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Give it a nice launch here too. There you go. There you go. Woo. Look at that acceleration. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, the truck has a lot of power. So this has the eyes and transmission, and this has the high output coming. So if you get this one, this is pretty much max towing for this type of truck. Yeah. But you can get the standard Cummins, which in my opinion is, is good enough, is adequate. Yeah. So it's like about two thousand dollars or so difference in price between the engines. I mean, that's the main thing that I'm concerned about is just making sure I've got enough, making sure I'm not overloading my camper, but then I've got enough in the truck. Yeah. And I'm pulling it, you know, not uh, not doing any damage to the truck. Exactly. Yeah. Like I said, thirty-five hundred for a fifth wheels. That's the way to go because you want at least thirty-five hundred pounds of payload, and I'll show you that sticker on the side here. And that gives us a good idea of how much your truck can carry, basically. And, I, and I, when you watch the video online, I'll go online and actually build this truck and show you the towing numbers, all that good stuff, too, for you. But this truck can tow your trailer, no yeah. problem. One thing, too, is you do have exhaust brake when you let off on the gas. Mm -hmm. Pull you full off the gas real quick. The, en the engine will actually start braking for you. You hear it? Yeah. And it'll start slowing it down a little bit. It works a little bit better when you have a load. Brakes work pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Tested them out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like when the Cummins breaks in and the turbo breaks in here. Yeah, yep. That's the diesel exhaust brake. You have two <laughs> settings. You have a full exhaust, so whenever you take your foot off the gas, it comes on. Or if you put it on automatic mode, which is in automatic right now, mm -hmm. if you tap the brakes a little bit, it'll come on. Yeah. Okay, so here's an overview on the fifth wheel that Tony and his wife currently own. So this thing is 42 foot long. That is a big boy, 13 feet high. And this one does have a dry hitch weight of 10,960 pounds. Has a decent size payload capacity. 
and then the hitch weight they're advertising online this is going to be a dry hitch weight of 1790 pounds so this is basically about 16 percent of the dry hitch weight so we're going to add a little bit more to this now as far as the truck that we uh, looked at at the dealership this truck did have a 24,800 pound towing capacity but I'm going to round this down just slightly because the payload capacity was a little bit lower than this so let me show you guys the spreadsheet so here are the numbers for the truck and for the trailer as far as the truck that we reviewed it did have a curb weight of 8,263 pounds 12,300 pounds is the GVWR gross combined vehicle weight rating is 30,000 I did round this down it should be about 35 or 36,000 pounds but I like to use a smaller number because Ram does not advertise this online as far as the payload goes 4037 pounds is the actual payload and then here's your towing capacity as I mentioned earlier I rounded this down because the actual payload is lower than what's advertised online as far as the fifth wheel goes the Salem Hemisphere by Forest River model 356 QB I did use 13,000 pounds to load it up I figured once they add all their gear and everything for full-time RVing it should be close to that GVWR hitch weight is 2,470 pounds I just took 13,000 multiplied by 19% as you guys saw online uh, Forest River they use 16% and I'm assuming that's because a lot of the stores can go in the back of their RV but in my opinion i think he should always just do worst case so with their family and the cargo he's going to be using a fifth wheel hitch 1055 pounds with them inside the truck if he decides to add anything else to the truck i just would want to say worst case is about this and with this truck you know having as big as a payload as it has he only has 512 pounds available after everything's loaded up in the truck which is good he's not over and he's not extremely close because once his kids get older they're gonna obviously get bigger and gain more weight so this number can go down just from that so you have to keep these things in mind they have three young children and if you have older kids i mean this number could be 200 pounds more so i hope this was helpful guys be sure to do this research and be sure to give me a thumbs up like and share the video and like i said i will see you guys soon i did do a video on a tradesman and tony mentioned that you know they don't really care to have a bunch of the bells and whistles so a tradesman in bighorn is what he was looking at so the next video i post is going to be of a tradesman and it's probably the most perfectly optioned tradesman i've ever seen it's a 3500 it had the standard cummins cannot wait to show that truck to you guys so be sure to be on the lookout for that video and i'll see you guys soon